Butterfly girl with jet aglow up on the outside. All his secret is flat to the boards on the outside. Still has a length to make up. Butterfly girl is hanging tough. All his secrets now in full cry up the outside. All his secret is charging home at Butterfly girl. And all his secret comes away to win it. Double whammies now being pressed by Cold as Ice who breezed on by. And Cold as Ice has kicked for home. And she's got the Choice Carriers Championship in the bag. Highly decorated. Flashing home and down the inside too. He's in the fast lane. In the first lane, flashed home and may have just got up to win it. And the Tsar is just in front. Silver Mountain's running her down up the outside and Silver Mountain is coming away, closing. Silver Mountain draws off from Entazar in the closing stages. Taffany Tart might have just snatched third. What Pete, I'll bet that when somebody twisted your arm to sponsor the Choice Carriers Phillies Championship that you couldn't possibly have imagined the script mapping out with a who's who of Phillies that have subsequently gone on to win multiple Group 1 races. It really is the most illustrious role of honour that I've seen for many, many years. No, never in my wildest dreams would I have expected, you know, a, a Grade 2. It basically um, carries the status of a Grade 1 race and is always won by a champion. And uh, you, the Phillies that have won it and the trainers that have um, trained those Phillies, a script you couldn't write better. Looking at the race itself, it's obviously run at a beautiful time of the year. Last year, People were worried about the draw and Silver Mountain comes from the impossible draw and just absolutely mows them down and goes on to win the Phillies guineas, goes on to run fourth in the Colts guineas. Uh, that must have been very pleasing and of course those replays carry the choice brand with it. Very much so. You know, we're very proud to be associated with that. It is a very fair course and I do always think, you know, that the best, the best horses win there. Obviously, from a marketing perspective, your name is out there on the road for all to see. It's very catchy because people do have a choice. The fact that your name just happens to be that is, is in your favour. But really, the mileage that you get from the race is probably as good as you can get being in the business that you're in. We were hesitant to start with to think that we should um, sponsor something like that. But my wife and the, the, the ladies team in Cape Town have put a... Uh, uh, live entertainment on upstairs and uh, carry on and I'm sure this year is going to be bigger and better with it, it should be a very very good uh, turnout this season well you just happen to have the mantle of starting off this most incredible sizzling summer season because of course looking at this beautiful property that you own here in wherever which is your home base it's evident that you are immersed in this beautiful sport, whether it's polo horses, whether it's polo cross, whatever it is, you're breaking in horses here as we speak. Tell us about Peter Choice's involvement in this beautiful sport of thoroughbred horse racing. I originally came to this country representing a sport, polo cross, and I'm still largely involved in that. Um, we do a lot of also sponsorship in with that. And also, but not only there, the polo, that we diversify with not just the race horses, but it's a passion that we have with horses and, and our staff do the same to, to do that. And yes, I'm very fortunate. I, my wife wonders why, um, who's not heavily involved in the training or breeding or anything of horses, why it does, but it's, I can't, it's hard to explain. Um, you know, when, you, when the horses are a passion and you get involved in it, that you know what you just see as as old as I am or as young as I am I still enjoy riding and um, not competing now but just riding and seeing um, what happens with horses that I do break in I have a very good team that work for me um, and it's great to see where they go from there well you speak very glibly and very casually about you've trained a little bit you've trained a grade one winner incidentally yeah that was a, it was very <laughs> Um, and it was a, we trained that horse actually they, that we, in Australia they call in town and out of town we travelled that horse uh, the day before he raced um, and I personally travelled that horse I think it was seven hours a day before had a day off and then ran and won a group one race from the bush from the bush seven days later uh, travelled him back and went and won a listed race a Grafton Cup you know it was a, a very big feeling 